making blind people see again, helping paraplegics walk again. It's not miracles from the Bible we're talking about, it's the sort of effect Elon Musk attributes to the link. A device that looks like nothing more than a little coin, but is believed to really pay off as a brain-computer interface. And Elon Musk should know, because he's the man behind it. One, two, three, four. Mankind has always been fascinated with the concept of mind control. And for a long time, it seemed like a crazy idea from a sci-fi movie. But lately, science has caught up with fiction. And it's not just Elon Musk, the master of crazy ideas, but there are other companies and startups developing brain-computer interfaces or BCIs. Let's find out what this is really about. What are the possibilities? What exactly is a brain-computer interface? And do we really want this technology? Stay tuned. What products are we talking about exactly? Well, if you ask this guy, the possibilities for brain-computer interfaces are rocketing sky-high, pun intended. Elon Musk is nearly as enthusiastic about brain-computer interfaces as he is about his other ideas, like his idea to colonize Mars. And Musk might be able to see it through. One of his companies has been working on a brain chip called Link for several years. Just recently, Musk demonstrated how his latest version of Link works with a pig. A big development. Last year, they presented a device that would sit behind the ear. A bit like a hearing device. The new version of Link is an implant. With the help of a robot, Link is placed inside the skull and connects to the brain tissue through several tiny wires. Via Bluetooth, the device can be linked to an app on your phone. The app receives signal from your brain and lets you control your phone without touching it. Musk envisions all kinds of uses for his product. At the top of the list are medical purposes. For example, the chip is supposed to help with memory loss, strokes, addiction, depression, you name it. And one day, it might even warn us if we're close to having a heart attack. And when it comes to paraplegics, the chip could possibly act like a mind-controlled prosthesis. The brain-computer interface could be connected to artificial legs, for example. And with your thoughts, you can tell them to move in a particular way. Pretty amazing. But Musk takes it a step further. He thinks that at some point in the future, the device can download our memories and thoughts and transfer them into a robot, for example. Okay, now it's getting scary. Facebook has been researching BCIs as well. Only one year ago, they bought the company Control Labs, a New York-based startup founded by neuroscientists. Control Labs is working on a wristband that detects the signals your brain sends to your hands. The wristband then sends those signals to a computer, no mouse or keyboard needed. Control Labs is now part of Facebook's Reality Labs, the division dedicated to creating new AR and VR gear. Apart from the big players, there's also smaller companies working on BCIs. For example, Brainco. The startup from Massachusetts developed a lightweight wireless EEG headband called Focus One. EEG means electroencephalography, which is a method to measure the electrical activity in the brain. Together with the app FocusCalm, you can use the headband to reduce stress and anxiety in your life. With a neurofeedback system, the headband can determine when you're stressed and the app shows you ways to relax. And then there's NextMind. They are working on a non-invasive headband that lets you control a computer with your thoughts. The BCI can detect when you choose something, like clicking a link on your computer, and lets you do it with your thoughts instead of your hand. The device can decode brain signals in real time and is put on the back of your head. NextMind wants to reach the mass market and try to make its BCI as easy as possible. They claim that once you wear it, it starts working. No special training needed. Have you heard of any of those BCIs? Let us know in the comments. Okay, so all these ideas are pretty impressive if you ask me. But let's take a step back and find out more about the technology behind BCIs. A brain-computer interface, or short BCI, links the brain with an external device. The BCI measures the brain activity and translates brain signals into commands that are received by the device. So, without touching something, without using any other tool, your brain controls some kind of machine. Pretty cool, right? BCI research has been around for a while. In the 1970s, scientists in the USA started experimenting on monkeys. Testing on humans began in the 1990s. There are different kinds of BCI, mainly two. Invasive ones, those that are implanted into the skull, and non-invasive ones that are placed on top of the skull. 
There are different research programs, but most of them focus on medical issues. For example, BCIs might help replace or restore body functions that were lost or damaged due to an injury, for example, spinal cord damage. So disabled people could really benefit from BCI in the future. But it's about more than that. Some programs want to find out how BCIs could improve healthy humans. Just imagine, for example, you could control a third arm with your thoughts. The possibilities seem endless. As of now, only the Focus One headband is available to consumers. It can be bought for 199 US dollars, including the app Focus Calm. All other products we talked about, like Elon Musk's Link, are still being tested or can be pre-ordered at this stage. So it won't take much longer until they become available, I think. And before they do, we should definitely ask ourselves, do we really want this technology? With BCIs, it seems like technology is progressing pretty fast. But are we ready for these mind control machines? It's fine if I can use a device to control my computer, but what comes next? There might be many advantages, especially medical benefits, but what are the risks? Do we want to let Facebook or Elon Musk into our brains? Just imagine BCIs that can decode your every thought. And like Musk said, maybe those thoughts and memories will one day be saved in another host. Especially Facebook isn't too trustworthy when it comes to keeping user data private. And even though the reality labs have an ethics board, Facebook doesn't rule out using brain activity data for advertising purposes. Our thoughts are probably our most private and most valuable possession. And if you ask me, it should stay that way. Imagine a country that hunts political dissidents with that kind of technology. Usually no one will find out whether I'm agreeing with my country's regime if I keep my thoughts to myself. But if someone can tap into my thoughts, I can't be safe. Sounds like the sequel to 1984, doesn't it? Do you think BCIs can be a risk to our freedom of thought? Would you be scared to use a BCI? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye. Bye.